Hey guys, today on Monkey Doodle we are doing SpongeBob. You're going to need a pencil and a quarter would be helpful and 10 cents or a dime would be super helpful. All right, we're going to put the quarter somewhere about here. I'm going to trace around it with a pencil. All right. And now we're going to move it over a little bit. And we're going to make that quarter go over the other circle. That's important. So it looks like SpongeBob's eyes are bumping into each other. All right, I'm going to go almost all around and stop here. And I'm going to go from the bottom a little bit and stop here. All right. So you can see how the eyes are bumping into each other. And this is going to be for the nose. Then I'm going to switch up to my Sharpie for a minute. And I'm going to retrace those areas. All right. It's just easier to do with a Sharpie. Just retrace. All right. And I'm going to do that other part right here. And we'll try to do this as well. All right, so it's not perfect, but we're going to try to smoothen things out a bit and just get those little spots cleaned up. All right. But I use a quarter because it helps you make those better circles. A circle is a hard shape to make. And if it doesn't come out good for certain characters, well, it just doesn't look as great, you know? All right. So, SpongeBob has two eyes that are developing. We're going to use the dime. Actually, it might be a little bit on the big side. So let's see. Let's do two circles freehand. One here. And one a little closer because SpongeBob is sort of cross-eyed. Circle there and circle there. All right. And now we're going to do the nose. Watch, we're going to have a line that starts under here and it's going to connect over here. Bring this down just a tiny bit. Start here, go up. All right, so you can see his nose bumps into his eye, makes him look even sillier. All right, now we're going to make the body of SpongeBob or maybe we could do the rest of his mouth, actually. Let's do that instead. Okay. SpongeBob has a cheek over here. He's got some dots. And let's see, he has a little bit of his mouth that sticks out about here. Goes down into the side curve. Fixing up that line a bit. We're going to give him some silly, we're going to open up this mouth a bit. And actually we'll make the teeth first. So he has a big tooth over here. Another one about here, a little shorter. He's got funny buck teeth, our friend. And we're going to come with a curve and connect to that tooth. All right, there you go. He has a big mouth, we'll do a tongue over here. Curve and another curve that goes down. I can see him, see him starting to develop there. All right, we're going to make a wavy, bumpy line. It's going to end probably somewhere about here. All right, let's start over here. Bumpy, bumpy, bumpy.
we're going to make the wavy lines go down on either side. So come in over here. And we're going to make it come in a little bit over here too. Bunch of wavy, bumpy lines. All right, bumpy over here as well. And just connect it. All right, we're going to put an edge over here, so. In and out, bumpy line. And continue that a little bit. All right, we're going to make a sleeve come out over here. So a curve that hits the side. And we're going to do another one that comes out here. We're going to make a little darker here, a little curve right about there. And we're going to make his hand come out. Two lines that come out, and SpongeBob has a thumb and curve over here. Another one that hits the thumb and a shorter one. And we're going to make a sleeve bumping out on this side here. And this one is shooting out this arm. Thumb. And then curve. Curve. And curve for the rest of it. Little palm there. Come in here. And go all the way down. All right. SpongeBob is coming along. Let's finish this side too. So we have a little bit of that spongy stuff coming right about there. Now we're going to make his boxy pants here. So from this line here, we're going to make a straight line down. And we're going to make a line down from here as well. But before we box this out, we need to make his collar. Two triangles that come down. A little curve here and a little tie that he wears. Silly tie for SpongeBob. We're going to make this line go across, but not all the way through. We're going to make a line over here, just below the arm, right about there. Angle it down a bit, okay. Continue this line down a little bit more, past the tie. I'm going to angle this back a little bit further, okay? Connect them. All right, connect those two. Angle this back a little bit. And connect that. All right, so our silly SpongeBob is coming along. And let's see, he has like his belt over here, you make that dark. And his belt continues here. And also right here bumps into his tie. And a little bit to the side here. SpongeBob is in the house. Okay, we're going to give him some legs. One is kicking this way, one is kicking that way. So, short line and short line. Curve. This one sticks this way. Short line. Come out this way a bit. Curve over here. We're going to make his leg stick out. Two lines, shoe. OK, 
Okay, he's got a big shoe there. And we're going to do a little box right here for the heel. And we're going to go up from here. And that makes the bottom of his shoe, okay? All right, the sponge bobster. We're going to make a curve over here as well. Okay. And that is the bottom of SpongeBob's shoe. All right, it's got socks, so a couple lines. One, two, three. And we're going to finish this leg with a curve here and a curve here. Going to make this one kick back. Okay. And bring it back to his pants. All right. Shoe is going to wrap around. Okay. Let me put a little heel on that. Silly shoes for SpongeBob. I know he has a highlight here. And a highlight here somewhere. Sock lines. Oh, let's make a curve here. And sock lines. One, two, and let's see, three. All right. Our friend is just about ready to hyperspace color. Yeah, you guys did it. You did a great job with SpongeBob. So let us do it now.